Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. We cover everything Admirals, Priors, and Florida Everblades related. Um, I'm Daniel Goodmont, this is Christopher Traves, and our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your skate sharpened, uh, you can get skates, rollerblades, referee gear, um, hockey jerseys like this one. You can get uh, Priors jerseys, and you can get this nice shirt from the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Yeah, you can go to HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Or you can call them at 414-800-7585. Alright, so tonight the uh, Admirals played the Rockford Ice Hogs. Did they really play? Yeah. It was more of a killing? A slaughter? It was almost like, oh, I don't remember what movie it was from. It was, a, it was like Silence of the Lambs, just minus the serial killer. I was more referring to the, the there was a part in the movie that I saw recently where it was like, stop punching him, he's already dead. Couldn't remember what movie it was from, but... Yeah, the Simpsons referenced it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 7-4 Admirals. It was not... Not even close. No. Well, I don't know, Rockford did come back. Like, we did have a huge lead and Rockford came back. And then, you know, we kill Which that means idea. tomorrow's game's probably going to be slow because I think both teams might be worn out after that one. Yes. Ten combined goals? Yeah, you tell me they ain't going to be tired tomorrow. We're tired. It's, tell by the way, know. it's 2.30 in the morning when we're filming this, folks. All right, Milwaukee in the first period. 18 shots, Rockford 9. Uh, then Milwaukee had 13 in the second, Rockford at 12. In the third, Milwaukee had seven, Rockford had six. Then, uh, end of the game with 38 27 shots in favor of Milwaukee. Uh, Milwaukee was three for seven on the power play, Rockford was three for eight. Uh, Rockford had 11 penalties for 33 minutes, Milwaukee had 12 for 35. Yikes. All right, scoring in the first. First was Dylan Sakura with his 10th with an assist from Lucas Carlson, his 13th, and Gabriel Gagne, his 3rd. That was on the power play. Then Freddie Goudreau got his 7th with an assist from Alexander Carrier, his 22nd, and Daniel Carr, his 18th. That was on the power play. Then Matthew Olivier scored his 8th with an assist from Josh Wilkins, his ninth. Then Mika Salamaki scored his fourth with an assist from Tanner Janot, his ninth. Then Mackenzie Entwistle scored his eighth on the power play with an assist from Nicholas Boudot and Dylan McLaughlin. Then in the second, uh, Robert Goudreau had his uh, second of the game, eighth of the season, with an assist from Daniel Carr, his 19th, and Alex Carrier, his 23rd. Then Ellie Tolvanen had his twenty ninth, seconds later. <laughs> yeah, had his ninth goal of the year with an assist from Tommy Novak, his fourteenth, and Anthony Richard his sixth. And then Chad Chris uh, for Rockford scored his second of the year with an assist from Dylan Sakura, his ninth, and Tyler Sakura, his fourteenth. And then uh, Brandon Hagel, he scored. His 14th of the year with an, his, with an assist from uh, Gabriel Gagne, his 4th, and Dylan Sakura, his 10th. And then Ren Pitlick, he had his 14th of the year with an assist from Ellie Tolvin in his 10th, and Yakov Tran, his 14th. And then, third period, go. And then in the third period, Daniel Carr got his 16th with an assist from Tommy Novak, his 15th, and Freddie Goudreau, his 9th. Or Jeez, Goudreau is all over the... Uh, point board, point sheet tonight. Alright, three stars of the game were Yakov Trenna with an assist, Daniel Carr with two assists and a goal, and Frederick Goudreau with two goals and one assist. Uh, in net for the Admirals was Troy Grosnick stopping 23 of 27, but when your, point, your team puts up seven, you don't really have to play that hard. Clearly. Um, i sure didn't play that hard. Um, and then Colin Delia, by the way, um, I saw the the uh, Wikipedia update. Um, from a fan standpoint, it's it funny. funny. From a media standpoint, yeah. it's kind of mean. Yeah, but it was still funny. Yes. Um, you can't you can't deny it. It was funny. Um, Delia faced uh, thirty eight shots, stopped thirty one. 
Yeah. Uh, head coach of Rockford is Derek King. Uh, assistant coach is Anders Sorensen. Head coach of Milwaukee is Carl Taylor. Assistant That's all-star Carl Taylor. Uh, assistant coach Scott Ford. Assistant coach Greg Rollo. Former all-star Greg Rollo. Attendance at the Panther Arena was 8,351. If I'm not mistaken, that's the most they've had all year. Yes, and probably will be the most we will have all year. Until the next concert, probably. There's a lot of Ario Speedwagon and fans, dude. Yeah. You do realize that, right? Yeah. Badger, was, Knight, Badger, Knight, Knight, Badger Knight gets a lot of people, too. So. Yeah, because if you get a family and friends travel here from Madison. Yep. It should uh, be a nice show. I'm looking uh, forward to it. Yep. Um, uh, referees were Michael Markov, Markovic and Lucas Martins. Uh, they don't do scratches? Li- uh, no. Linesmen were a group of Mikes, Mike Anderson and Mike Daughtry. Um, uh, I'm trying to close this. Hang on. There we go. Um, to finish it off, uh, the Admirals... Let's talk about those penalty shots. Here, it's like a... <laughs> Dude, did you see how many penalty minutes combined? Yeah, I saw that. What's um, that? Uh, the Admirals are now 5-0-1-0 against Rockford this year. Yeah. I'm not doing a preview of Rockford because, well, they play them tomorrow. I'm just watch our last video. And watch this one. this one. and yeah, I just, just watch said that. that. Watch last one and watch this one. And that's all you need to know about Rockford. Well, the, actually, all they really need to know about Rockford is what we gave them tonight because all their leading scorers touched the puck tonight. Hey, either way. Either way, just, all watch right, it. just so. keep watching our videos. You'll learn all about Rockford. All right. We're going to be at that game later today or tomorrow or whatever you want to call it. All right. So I'm going to go down the first period of penalties. Chris is going to take the second, and I'll take the third. All right. Hold on. Let me make sure I got the penalties listed. Oh, uh, I'm going to do the second, you said? Yeah. Unless, how many are there in the third? Uh, You're going up. I know. I want to see how many are in the first. Jeez. That's why I said I'll take the first. Okay, yeah, you can take the second and third. <laughs> <laughs> You're like sucker. <laughs> Whatever. Go. Um, so penalties in the first period. One was for Yakov Chinen, two minutes for roughing. Chad Chris, two minutes for tripping for Rockford. Dylan Sakura, two minutes for slashing for Rockford. Uh, Josh Wilkins, two minutes for interference uh, for the Admirals. Uh, Tanner Janot, two minutes for high sticking for the Admirals. Joseph Cramarosa, um... Five minutes for fighting in a 10-minute unsportsmanlike conduct. Um, Michael McCarron, two minutes for charging, five minutes for fighting in an unsportsmanlike conduct. Is that what the game misconduct was? No, they, there was no game misconduct. They just gave him a 10-minute, and they were able to They come said back. it was a 10-minute game misconduct. No, nope. uh, 15 minutes is a game. Oh. 10 minutes is just uh, 10 minutes you don't mm-hmm. just play. Well, either way, that was a nice little fight. Um, Mackenzie Entwistle, um, had a two minutes for slashing, and you're up. <laughs> and then, uh, when 16 seconds into the second period, you had Dennis Gilbert getting a two-minute hooking, and then, uh, Tanner Janol, he got a two-minute for holding, Rem Pitlick got, uh, two minutes for slashing, was it, uh, Joseph Camarosa, he got two for hooking. Oh, and then Lucas Carlson in the third, he got it uh, tripping for two minutes. Tolvanen got tripping for two minutes. Gilbert, or Dennis Gilbert, tripping for two minutes. Uh, Entwistle, he got two-minute roughing. Entwistle again, two-minute roughing. McCarron, roughing for two minutes. McCarron again, roughing for two minutes. McCarron got a lot of penalties today. You might want to address that. Tanner Janot cross checking two minutes, and that was all of it. Um, the one thing about McCarron and Ed Wessel's double minor, if they gave them both a five minute fighting, yeah. um, McCarron was going to get a game at suspension. So what they did there is they gave them both four minutes there for making it easier. Plus, Ed Wessel jumped McCarron in the corner. Yeah. Therefore. Um, he was the defending part party of it. Yeah, he's just as guilty, but he was the defending part party. Yeah, I don't know what's up with all the hatred between these two teams. Does Rockford get mad that the Admirals smack him around all the time? Well, I, and the one thing I really should talk about, out of 11 goals scored, six were on the power play. Yeah. So, I mean, 
for the Admirals, we're kind of getting used to that. Yeah, they've improved their uh, power play unit very well. Um, but Rock, uh, our penalty kills kind of got to step it up. Um, Rockford really got it going there um, in their power play. That's something they've been lacking for the latter part of the season. Yeah. So, um, uh, and I don't like to give much credit to Rockford, but they are getting better in the power play area if they're able to. Not to mention, for whatever reason, Troy's just going through a little slump right now. Grossman? Yeah. Seriously, he's been giving up a lot of goals lately. He's going through a little slump. Yep. Um, He'll break out of it eventually. Let's let's just see where we go. I know uh, most likely tomorrow you guys are going to see Ingram uh, probably and Lankin and uh, Ingram and Lankin in net. Uh, huh, yeah, so there's Kim my pre. Delia out there getting yikes. <laughs> yeah, Delia. Was... Tell me tomorrow's game is probably going to be a low energy affair. I think they. Uh, by, uh, by us, the podcast game, or by them? By uh, them. That's what I'm saying. Do you even want to go? Because, dude, this game might be a boring game. Because both teams are going to be physically beaten up after they beat each other up tonight. And But, yeah, but, let me reiterate this. They're going to have two different goalies in that. That's probably the only thing that might change. I mean... Well, also add in, we don't know what leads to tomorrow, so you never know... If these guys get a good night's sleep, they're used to playing back to back. Who knows if they can even make it down there tomorrow? We don't know what the freeways are going to be like. I can tell you right now that the roads outside are slick, so all of you uh, that did get home safe. Uh, good job. Yeah. We barely got home safe. We were slip sliding, but we got here. Obviously, yep. we're here. Yep. <laughs> uh, it took us a little extra while, and we also tried to watch the skills competition. For whatever reason, his DVR uh, dropped the ball. No, actually, I recorded it for the set time that it was set to be on. Yeah. Then, on top of that, for whatever reason, I recorded it for a half hour later. Not for a li- runoff. For runoff. Or runover, whatever you want to call it. And it still wasn't good enough. I do like that uh, concept of them taking shots from the stands and aiming it into the ice surface, trying to like put them in baskets. And well, we've seen videos around here and there of players doing that from like little stands. But now it's an actual part of the All Star Game competition, which is kind of cool. It's yeah. a new, it's a new feature. For, I've never seen it like the pros. Yeah. Um. The other thing we wanted to talk about, the three yeah. on three uh, women's little game they had that was pretty cool. Yep, and we do have some news pertaining to the AHL one. Um, uh, Yakov Trenin has withdrawn from the AHL All-Star game. Most likely he's getting called back up, most likely. Yep. Um, and uh, in that case, uh, Sam Anas is going to take his place uh, for the Iowa Wild. It happens. It happens. Either I watch the All-Star game for the NHL on Sunday and the, and, and the AHL on Monday. And the AHL Skills Competition is also on Sunday evening on the NHL Network for those of you that get that channel. Yep. Otherwise, for those of you with AHL TV, you can watch it there. Yeah. So, either way, you can watch it. So, yeah, go to Hockey Locker, spend money, watch our videos. Uh, yeah, we can see you guys in about, I don't know, 14 hours, whatever time it is now. Uh, it's 2 a.m., almost 3. We'll see you guys later. I'm going to go upload this video and see you later. Yep, we're going to Rockford. Later, guys.